up, folks? Your boy here, your boy Bob Hollywood here, rather, with another exciting review. This time we're going to be going over this whew, Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection, Jace Bellerin. Uh, I just bought this figure from a local Facebook seller. Uh, they had another figure, which you're going to see. I'm uh, going to record today, but I'm not going to release it for a while. Because if you didn't know, I record things and I release them when I feel like releasing them. I'm trying to make a schedule. But um, anyway, there's this guy we're going to be going over today. This is not my first time seeing him in the wild. I probably saw him years ago when he was out. Um... And yeah, I know nothing about Magic the Gathering. I had some of the cards as a kid, but I never played the game. I I, I don't know anything about Magic the Gathering. But uh, inside of his package, whoops, he is 8.7 ounces. And you can see inside of the packaging, there is this clear window, which is all toys. It also leaks over to the left side. So you can see a pretty good picture of this figure. He does not come with any accessories, it looks like, unless his cloak is removable, which we'll find out once we open it. Uh, pretty green color, I can see that much. Um, at the front of the packaging, there is another picture of Jace, and there is an age recommendation of 14 plus. This is by Funko. So um, I had a couple of Game of Thrones figures last year that I never got to review because I'm moving, but we'll go over this guy. Hopefully there's articulation similar, but not as stiff. Uh, on the right of the packaging, it just has another picture of him, the same picture from the front. It says Magic the Gathering, Jace Bellerin, has an image, maybe it's a logo that's pertinent to him, and it says Legacy Collection. And on the left, again, it just says Legacy Collection because there's that open window where you can see the figure. At the top, it says Magic the Gathering 1. He's the first figure in this wave. At the bottom, legalese, information where you can contact Funko and who distributes them in different countries. And there's a barcode if you need it. And on the back, more of the Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection, Series 1. Again, there's a picture of Jace. It's the same picture. This time you see his whole body. And there's another logo, a different one, that might just be special to Jace. Or it might be all the figures I don't know off the top of my head. But series 1 includes Jace Bellerin, who we're going over today. Garrick Wildspeaker. I hope I didn't just mispronounce that name. Ayani or Johnny Goldman. Nisa Ravon, Liliana Vest, and Chandra Nalar. Before I bought this figure, and the other figure I bought was Liliana Vest. Before I bought this figure, the only one I think I saw in, in, in the wild was Chandra Nalar. And I was actually tempted to buy her from a local comic book shop, but I didn't like the price tag on it. I got this guy for basically $7.50. He was for sale for $10, but she was like, you buy both, you get them for $15. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up, get him out of his plastic prison. I will be right back. So I'm back, folks, and I am sorry to say this left leg is pretty stuck. I mean, I was able to realize there is some paint... Uh, paint issues while I was going over it <clears throat> I didn't notice previously looks like a paint issue right there there's one on his finger two on his fingers there's one there there was one other one that I saw and these are minor gripes the major gripe is how stiff he is which Funko is notorious for like I said the Evolve figures I got Val she didn't give me any issues then I got the uh, black chick I cannot think her name and she broke right out of the package like I didn't apply heat but it, literally as soon as I got her out of the package she broke and then I got the big guy, Markov, and <clears throat> I don't even want to attempt to move him. But yeah, this guy, I can't get this leg to bend. I'm going to still have to do my best to give you a uh, review of his articulation. His head rotates 360 degrees, but that, that felt dangerous. He does give you attitude, though, surprisingly. He goes up that much, goes down that much. Arms go up at the shoulder. This part is soft plastic, so it's attached to the arm. This part is attached to your bicep, but it's not going to interfere with his arms going up. They go up 90 degrees. They're going to rotate at that shoulder. They have bicep swivels. And in mind, I can see like some just like the old, the oldness of the plastic as I do that. Double joint, no, single joint elbows. I'm sorry. Single joint elbows still get 90 degrees. And then his wrist, rotate at the wrist. As you can see, there's still that more of that issue of the the plastic i guess deteriorating in a way but he does have horizontal uh wrists joints i cannot see which one it is but it looks like it's horizontal on this hand as well and again let's god he's stiff a little bit less than 90 on his right arm which has this gauntlet piece his waist is going to rotate 360 degrees that's under the chest with the chest and asthma there's also articulation it looks like where his where his abs and his hips meet but it's not moving i don't want to force it i mean i paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this guy but i don't want to force it his legs go out this far and now i'm noticing more paint effects on the front of this loincloth thing legs go that far really balance he does not want to balance but his legs also rotate at the thigh really loose and you can see like the paint just just not the paint but just that molding sort of but his legs go forward that much and they go back that much but yeah, there's some there's a lot of paint defects because you can see this is molded in the green. Or is that just that's just black? It mold, it's molded. I don't know. I don't know. Don't feel like figuring it out. His left knee bends, and it's a double jointed. And you can see his range of motion. It's just that this right knee I cannot get right now. He kicks his own ass effortlessly. 
and then his foot, which you don't have much mobility because of the way the pants are, but there appears to be a forward-facing rocker, and there is looks like there would be a pivot in there too. It's just that his pants are so baggy around that ankle. I'm just going to go for broke here. If he breaks, he breaks. It's going to suck, but then I can use his head for whatever, use his hand for whatever. Oh, uh, there he goes. Oh, there he is. Okay, now I can probably get this guy's height properly. Let me get the scale out of here. Whoops. <clears throat> is he going to stand? Is he going to stand? He stands. Boom. What a cyborg would say. Booyah. He stands. No problem. So that means we can get his height. He is six and a half inches tall. So let's get him some, let's do some size comparisons. Let's do some Fortnite figures. Jonesy, who he's taller than, and Rhino, who he's shorter than. He's almost, he's like a half a hit taller than Jonesy. Piccolo and Colonel Quaridge. He's taller than both of them. Zarya and Brie Bella. They're tall. No, he's about the same height as a Bubella. I mean, his head's higher, but their eyes look like they would meet. She just looks like she has a bigger head. And Duke and Captain America. The captain's taller than him. Well, maybe it's about even. Let's see if I can get Cap's legs a little bit better. Yeah, Cap's taller than him. And finally, we're going to do Finn and John Jones. And they're both shorter than him. Now, the thing about this guy is, I think I don't have any other Funko figures in the lineup. The only Funko figures I even have, I, like I said, I have the Jamie Lannisters. And I have Jon Snow and I have Arya Stark, who I haven't uh, I did open her. But um, I'm not going to hunt them down. Th those reviews, those comparisons were good enough, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's this review. I do I like the way it looks. The greens are different. Depending on where, what part of the body you're looking, you're, you're looking at. But I like the figure. He looks cool. He was stiff coming out of the package. I think I've got that resolved for the most part. Um, his articulation is decent. It's not bad. Um, I don't think Funko made any more of these after the initial six or five, however many it was. Which is unfortunate, but you know. Things don't sell. I get why people don't want to throw money at making more of them. Uh, like the Hasbro Overwatch line. I love those figures, but I did not buy them at full price of $20 or $40 for the two-pack. So I get why Hasbro deemed it a failure. Because most people probably didn't do that. So... When that happens, you get things on clearance, and you get things, you know, and people buy it then, and it might be word of mouth, but there's not enough for the company to justify it. So that's unfortunate. That really is, because you miss out on some cool stuff. By the way, his head looks like it's on a ball joint. should be. That's that's a Funko thing. They like to put them on double ball joints. But that was pretty good motion, even if it was. But guys, like I said, I like this guy. He looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to reviewing that uh, Liliana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. She looks badass. She caught my eye, and that's why I, I, I bought the figures. But so I can use a wash. But anyway, guys, remember, action figures speak louder than plastic. That is not the phrase. Action figures speak louder than words. <laughs> Do me a favor, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below. Let me know what's going on in your life. And other than that, man, I love you. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. So I'm back. I had to lay him down. His legs are incredibly stiff. So I'd lay him down. To get him on the scale, as you can see, he weighs 4.5 ounces outside of his plastic prison, which is a little over half of what he weighed. I believe he was... Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember at this point. But uh, let's take a look at him. And this cloak does come off. I'm going to remove that. Actually, well, let's go over the cloak first. It's the same color as the rest of his green and this uh, off-white, not eggshell. It's almost gray and white at the same time. And then the only other coloring is this silver buckle and this red emblem. I do not know the significance because, again, I do not know anything about Magic the Gathering. As I'm looking at the, the cape, I don't. it comes up a little bit on the camera, but there's like a different color green, almost like a oh shit color green almost just in there, and it's on both sides. And it doesn't mess with anything. I just think I can just see it, and I'm looking at him. I don't see it on his figure, just on the cape. But let's go ahead and take a look at him. Again, he doesn't have any accessories, so this should be relatively easy. And now I can stand him. He doesn't want to stand because this knee, this knee right now. I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk it. I think Funko made was it Funko that made the friggin' evolved figures and the, those things break like that. So nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Anyway, you can see he has a kind of cartoony face with really big blue eyes. He has, bra he has brown hair and black uh, eyebrows. Only one eyebrow, obviously, because his face is hidden. His hair is hiding the other one, so it's not even painted on there. But the one's visible is painted. His lips are painted pretty good. 
Lips are painted really good. The face paint on his face, all clean. His hair sculpt is ugly, but that's not them. And now I am seeing the green on the back. But yeah, that's just the design of the character, that uh, that hairstyle. Looks good in comic, in comic book, in action figure form. Same logo here. He got those same logos throughout his uh, chest and his abdomen as he does on his hood. I mean, it's slightly different, probably because there's more detail on this one. There's a good amount of detail on this one. There's nothing but paint on this one. This isn't sculpted at all. But he does have sculpting throughout. Like, as you can see, his chest and his uh, abs have sculpting. It almost looks like he's wearing a, um, a garter, almost like a, uh, yeah, what's it called? What is that thing called? Oh my God, a corset. And the same logo again on his left arm. His right, his left hand's gloved, not gloved, but his right hand is. His right hand has a longer sleeve. So that's an interesting design choice. He's wearing this, I don't know what this would be called, but it drips down in the front longer than it does in the back. He's got some black on his legs. He looks pretty good. I guess an interesting design choice. His torso, his chest, his torso is hard. This part, this part's softer. But it's like glued on there on that part and it opens up just a little bit right there but it's it's stuck in there and these silver parts are also sculpted he's got some design choices on his legs that's sculpted painted like a dark gray i wish his feet his shoes had a little bit more details his shoes have no detail and they're like the the thing that stands out the most because as you can see there's that white throughout him he's got black he's got red but the shoes are just that green even though it's this part here would be like a separate piece if it was an actual shoe. No peg holes, which is a rarity. I think this figure came out in 2012, maybe 2014. I want to attempt to go over his articulation. I really do. Um, I am fearful of how he'll react. Let me let me do this. That way you can get a full grasp of his articulation. I am going to pause the video. I'm going to throw some heat on this bastard, and then we'll be, I'll be back.